very pleasant good day my beloved brothers and sisters in Christ and outside the body of Christ well once again this is your Christian brother Eric Braxton speaking to you all on this Saturday in the month of October 2016 well I thank my Lord and my my Heavenly Father my Lord and Savior Jesus Christ for spare my life again in the land of the living where once again I could share with you all a next video well, I'm speaking to you all in my current country, Trinidad and Tobago, this wonderful country, Trinidad and Tobago, island country that is in the, the land of my nativity, the land of my birth, that is in the blue Caribbean Sea. Well, as I said, I've written a few tracks with you, a few tracks years ago, and I tend to keep on reading from these tracks to you all, my brothers, dealing with, dealing with the gospel of the kingdom of God. So without further ado, let the reading begin. Jesus Christ, the true God and Savior of mankind, will deliver us from all the deception of Satan, the devil. Oh yes, he will set us free. As he had delivered Shashak, Meshach, and Abednego from the burning furnace of fire, the book of Daniel, the third chapter, verse 27. Dear friends, dear mankind, dear mankind, the lies and deception of the devil will come to an end in the lives of mankind soon. Jesus Christ will set us free from all the deception of the wicked one and mankind will be walking in the everlasting peace, love, truth of God. Because God, Jesus Christ, is coming back to it soon to set up his everlasting kingdom which is the government of God to bring true peace and security to the whole of the human family. He is God and Lord and Savior of mankind, Jesus Christ. So accept him, Jesus Christ, today as your personal Lord and Savior for life. He, 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 Jesus Christ, is the Savior of the world. Yes, dear friends. So accept Christ as your personal Lord and Savior of your life. Well, this video, my brothers and sisters, it will be a short video. It will not even be a half an hour video. Right, my beloved brothers and sisters. So, but look out for the other videos that I will make, be making that will be a little longer than this current video. I will be bringing out a video very soon dealing with spiritual warfare where spiritual warfare all begin who bring about spiritual warfare did god bring it about where did spiritual warfare begin and when will spiritual warfare end so look out for that video soon as soon as i record that video i promise you all all and sundry i will be it will be posted immediately on the internet and the world wide web so all could see so look out for that video, my beloved brothers and sisters. Well, this, as I said, this will be a short video. You all do not have plenty time on your, all your hand. All those people who are out there saying, I have plenty time to play with. I do not have to accept Christ as my personal Lord and Savior of my life until I achieve that car, until I achieve that house, until I win that lotto, or until I obtain that, accumulate that million dollars wealth money so I could buy that airfares and travel the whole world see many countries visit many people and then come back down and settle down and then accept Christ as your Lord and Savior no today is the day of salvation if you hear his voice add not your heart because you do not know if you will live to see tomorrow so make that decision now and when you make that decision now by what at the end of this video take the Bible off the shelf blow the dust off of it relax sit down and make that very important decision to accept Christ as your Lord and Savior. When you have made that decision, go on, go on. When you make that decision, look for that church in the area, in your congregation, in your in your in your district, community. Meet that man of God. Tell him you want to accept Christ as your Lord and Savior, and then repair for baptism. He will instruct you in the words of God, and you will make that decision. Now you will repent of your sins. You will get baptized, and start looking for. A congregation, a church, the true believers who that observe the, the Ten Commandments and who observe the, the Sabbath day, which is Saturday. And you go there and you fellowship and begin keeping the commandments of God and living that holy and righteous life in the eyes of God and doing what is right in the eyes of God. So when Jesus Christ returns back to the earth as King of Kings and Lord of Lords, we will be with him in his kingdom. So at the end of this video, make that very important decision. You do not know if you will live tomorrow. And when you make that important decision, whether two hours after or 15 minutes you die, you will be in the kingdom of God. Why? Because you accept Jesus Christ to live for him. Yes, brothers and sisters, beloved in Christ. So 
as I said, this will be a short video. So look out for the other videos that will be coming on YouTube, YouTube, on the internet, on YouTube very soon, my brothers and sisters. So bye-bye, my friends. Bye-bye, my friends. I will be seeing you all very soon. Look out for all the videos that I'll be posting on the internet and the World Wide Web. The peace of God, Jesus Christ, be with me and you from this day forth and for evermore. Yes, brothers and sisters, it's only Jesus Christ, our Lord and our Savior. He's the only one to bring peace to this world when he come back to the earth to establish this kingdom, which is the government of God, to bring true peace and security to the whole of mankind. Mankind have tried to bring about peace and true security for the whole of humanity in the past. Government and empires have attempted to do that and they have failed miserably. The only qualified one to bring peace to the whole of the human family, where the whole human family will live in true peace and love and unity with one another, is our Heavenly Father and our Lord and our Savior Jesus Christ. He's the only one to bring it about. Why? Because He's our God. He's the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, the God of our life, our creator, God, our maker of the universe. Blessed be his holy and his righteous name from this day forth and forevermore. So once again, the peace of God be with me and with you, brothers and sisters, from this day forth and, in, and forevermore. In no other name, but in the name of our Lord and our Savior, Jesus Christ, our soon coming King of kings and Lord of lords, back to the earth to establish the government, the kingdom of God upon the earth. So bye-bye, friends. Bye-bye, friends. See you all soon. And keep on looking out for the videos. Shalom. Peace.